Jennifer Gilbert of Jennifer Lauren Gallery travelled on a research trip to Japan in April 2023. She spent time in the home of young artist Yoshihiro Watanabe. He had learnt a few English phrases through watching TV programmes, which he enjoyed practising out loud. Jennifer had released his folded leaf animals onto American audiences earlier in 2023 at the Outsider Art Fair that had blown people away. Whilst in his home, she saw him paper cutting and before her eyes and without any planning, an elephant appeared. Yoshihiro Watanabe was born in 1989 in Japan. It was in 2003 that he began his paper cutting. Having loved dinosaurs ever since visiting a local dinosaur museum when he was 10 and loving the Jurassic Park films, they are his favourite thing to cut out of paper. If he is making small animals, he folds an A4 page in half and cuts out two at the same time. Otherwise, he just uses the full piece of paper for one. For the individual small size cutouts, they take around two hours to complete. But when very large, he will work on them for two to three hours a day, taking around a week to complete them. Upon completion, he always carefully lines everything up, puts tape on the back of them and gives them to his mother for safekeeping. The tape can easily be removed, but whilst being stored, it helps to keep the pieces together and keeps them flat due to them being so fragile. Only he can attach and remove the tape and he does not like his mother to do this. His mother said he used to work with clay and got bored with it, so moved on to paper cutting. No one had ever taught him the technique and he just seemed to make it up and cut freehand as he went along. His mother said he loves to have an audience watching him when cutting the animals out. There is no planning or drawing of the animals. They just appear through the cutting as time goes on. He often visits the zoo, so his mother said that this is his inspiration for the work and the animals just stay with him as visuals in his mind. The scissors he uses are quite blunt and are aimed at children, so it is always very surprising to people to see the very fine details he manages to achieve with them. People also think he drafts the pieces and cuts them out with a knife, so again are taken by surprise. The company who makes the scissors saw some videos of him working and sent many different pairs and styles of scissors to him as a gift, but he always uses the same pair time and again. He also has very hard skin on his fingers where the scissors rub his fingers when he cuts with them. Every animal that he makes is different with no two ever being the same. Sometimes people ask him to make different animals. He only needs to look at an image once and then gets to work cutting it out from memory. Occasionally, other colours are added in small places. For example, I saw an elephant with different coloured tusks cut out and stuck on. The other side of Watanabe's practice is leaf cutting, and it is these works that I first became aware of him. The leaf creations began 22 years ago, in 2002. A lion was the first animal he made from a leaf, but his mother thinks an elephant and a snake are his favourites, since he makes the most of these. As with the paper cutouts, he does not work from any imagery in front of him. They all manifest from his memory. It does not take long to make a leaf sculpture, and he often has the TV on, half watching it as he is making. No glue or tape is used, but sometimes he tapes one of the folds for a couple of minutes to hold it in place and then removes it before he does the next part. Over a two-month period from November to January, he collects 20 leaves every weekend to use during the week. Every leaf collected is used. As soon as they are collected, his mother briefly washes them and places them between kitchen paper to dry them out. After two days, the mother sprays them so they are slightly wet again and can be used. They must be used within a week of this, otherwise their condition will not be right, and this is known through a lot of trial and error over the years. The leaves just get too dry, and if kept too wet, fungus grows. Nothing his mother has tried over the years has allowed them to ever be used for a longer period. Ever since Watanabe has been folding leaves, Known as Ariha, to his family, meaning folded leaf in Japanese, the animals have never disintegrated. 
In the family home, they have some animals that are over 20 years old and are still fine. Apparently, natural humidity does not break down nor affect the leaf. It was such an honour and a privilege to meet Watanabe and his mother and to see him at work.